Can you hear me now? Hi, Terry Lynn. Let's see if we can do this. Can you hear me now? You can hear me. All right. Hi, Terry Lynn. All right. Praise Let's the Lord. See if we can do this. Let's can you hear me now? see if this works. You can hear me. Yay, Deb. Isn't that fabulous? It's maybe working. So, <laughs> hi, Mary Ellen. Um, I wanted to touch base with you guys. Let's see if it's on YouTube working okay. Let's just hit that real quick. I want to see. Okay. Let's just. You can hear me online, yeah, Mary. Isn't it. that wonderful? Ina, isn't that. Oh, goodness. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much. Um, Denise, I really need those prayers today. We have had quite a week or two. Um, if you guys don't know, I homeschool my youngest four children. So um, it's a lot. And we are preparing my son for college. He's been accepted to Ivy Tech, which is a technical school here in Indiana. And he's going for a trade school this um, just a lot with that kid and our life. And as a homeschooling mom, I have to prepare all the paperwork for him, um, which did not transfer from California. So, which means I had to recreate his whole <laughs> high school experience this week. Um, I just thought let's do something bright and bold today. Are you guys up for some crafting, something fun and festive? Um, if, oh, that's got square lines. Let's not do that one. Let's see here. We're going to grab the Poppy Parade cardstock um, with you guys. And we're going to create a really cute card embracing um, the awesome. I want to make sure it's translating well for you guys. Yay. So let's participate today. Let's see. Yes, I thought I was going to go. It's going nuts. LOL. Right? It's hi, Marilyn. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love my Marilyn. Hello, my friend. Um, we're creating bold and fun today. We're going to be embracing this gorgeous designer series paper that's limited just um, for a couple more months um, called Pattern Party. It's a large piece of paper, 48 sheets of designer series paper, super inexpensive for people who place a qualifying order or those that are hostesses. Um, so if you're interested in getting that before it's gone, make sure that you do so now um, before it's gone. I mean, once it's listed and hired, things start going really quickly, and that's coming really soon. Uh, if you also are not part of my email list, you won't be receiving the new catalog. So make sure you've got the new catalog. There's a huge BOGO sale that's going to be announced, uh, hopefully before the end of the month. It'll be pictured and ready online. I'm taking over because the last time my kids did it, it was confusing. And they did it while I was traveling back to California for our foster care program that we did last year. We won. Um, we were nominated for and picked for the Heart of Stampin' Up! Award, where we combined with Stampin' Up! to support one of my favorite um, charities, which is a um, support for foster care kids. I was actually in foster care when I was a young girl, and so it's really important to me and near and dear to my heart. Um, hi, Debbie. And so I'm excited that this is working. Can we all just give me a little whoo whoo? Give me a little whoop whoop. Tell me. I mean, you guys, if you've been on this journey with me, you know getting this thing to be online has been challenging. <laughs> uh, that's a word we're going to use. Challenging is kind of an understatement here. Girl, let me just say, um, I am preparing the pop, uh, Poppy Parade card for the base. And I'm going to show you guys a really fun um, little quick and easy card embracing a great bundle that we're going to have as an online class this month. So if you're interested in participating, let me know. We have an on, uh, we have a fundraising crop evening. It's a whole day, Saturday, the 26th of March, which is in support for, um, Riley's Children's Hospital. So Riley's Children's Hospital is a local nonprofit that supports families going through some, um, kids going through their largest battle in their life. 
and it is really near and dear to my heart because my nephew was in it and um, out here and it was really important to all of those families that are in the battle that they would never expect to be. Like it's nuts when you're a parent to imagine having your child on the line. If you were those people, like my heart is with you. Um, my son is what they call a miracle baby. He was actually born and we received a phone call from the hospital a week after he was born saying, we need you to come in immediately. He's probably going to dying. My first born son. I was like, oh. so I had two gross stepdaughters at the time or two teenage stepdaughters at the time, but I dropped everything and I ran and they immediately took him in for some, uh, some imagery on his abdomen they said he was born with holes in his kidney um and liver i believe and they had caught it but they nobody put it on the chart when we were at the hospital and um so basically he had um a scary situation that when they went back to in to hello deborah hi denise when they went to take him in for this emergency procedure the holes had healed up and they said like it shouldn't have healed up as well. It should have been, um, his, his intestines would have been flooded with fluid, which would have drowned him, um, in his own fluid. And it didn't do either that it was a miracle that they had imagery when he was first born and they were waiting, but they didn't tell me until we'd gone home. And then we got a phone call and rushed in and they just kept saying, he's just like a miracle. Like we didn't expect him to have lived and we don't know how he fell through the cracks, but he did. And now that same kid is graduating in May this year. Crazy. But many people, like, God is so good, Denise. You're right. Um, my my husband's cousin, um, their son has been fighting, and, and, his, his, and their mother have been fighting ban cancer in California. And Children's Hospital has really stepped in and, and been such a blessing to our family that has had this battle. And Nico is another little hero. And so if you guys know... Um, children that are going through this season, you'll know why it's so near and dear to my heart, quite honestly. And so, um, we are doing a scrapbook crop on March 26th. And if you are local to the Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, and uh, not Indianapolis, Indiana area, Indianapolis will work too. If you don't, um, you can join us for the day crop on March 26th. But if you are virtual, guess what? I have two online classes that will happen this month, one of which will be using the What's Cooking Bundle. This What's Cooking Bundle will um, be e class. We will be doing a um, frame, frame up. We will be doing um, just like a little kitchen sampler. Super cute, you guys. We will be doing a um, card book. And a little book, and we can get So, if you have these, you can put them in this great book. And get away to go on. It's priceless. Um, I wish I had my grandmother's. All of her recipes would have been really wonderful. And um, we will be creating a couple cards that go along with it. We also have another bundle. Those will be, I haven't seen them, they're on should be on my Facebook now. They'll be on my blog, probably for RSVP4. Uh, this class is free with the purchase of the bundle. That's it. And um, if you have to pay for shipping to get the card stock to you, a very inexpensive um, shipping for that. But I would love to send it to you. And all proceeds, all 25% of the purchase of this bundle and the other bundle will go to support Riley's Children's Hospital. That's it. So I make no money. All of my proceeds to Riley's Hospital. I would love to make this be a huge fundraiser. So if you would like to participate with us, that is this month. You can see more details on my Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash gettingcrafty.net, or it'll be on my blog at gettingcrafty.net on Friday. You guys can see it then. Um, if you guys are interested, those will be online class options. It's just near and dear to our heart. And I know if you guys are like me, it's important to you as well. So um, I just want to make sure... I think I can. I mean, I'll get uh, two pages here. This is bothering me that I can't really see all oh, the stinking notifications pop up as I'm trying to 
how do you turn off all the notifications? Do you guys know? I'd like to know how to turn off the notifications on emails because holy cannoli is it a lot. All right, people, we're almost there. Videos. And this will give me the comments. There we go. I just want to see if you guys are commenting on Facebook too, so I don't want to ignore you guys. Um, it's hard having multiple devices up, so this should be interesting and fun. Now, we're going to different than when you probably have done before. Are you ready to go different? Are you ready to go bold? That was my question. Who's in for the boldness today? I'm just saying. Besides my lipstick, I'm feeling a little sassy. I am. I think it's because everything's working so far. I'm super excited. Um, okay. Uh, who knows the hours and weeks of dealing with Wi-Fi tragedy. And looks like it might've culminated to actually working. That would be huge if that's the case, y'all. So if you're interested in joining us, we want you to join us for those different events and it would be really great to see your face online. Um, that'd be a recorded class coming your way. And so just so you know, so. I just fully cut that open, y'all. Okay. Um, if you do you know how you can get those classes for free, did you guys want to know? I don't know if you want to know. Um, I have uh, our getting crafty family. When you join my team with Stampin' Up and you grab that starter kit, which is an amazing deal, um, all of the girls on my team get my videos for free. And so they will be receiving the video tutorials for for free. I'm just saying, don't miss out. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to give you guys some options. Are you ready to pick? I need you to comment and let me know which of these collections of this paper speaks to you for this card. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's turn this around. Hope it works. All right. This is a hot mess. Just a smidge of a hot mess. This is what I was creating while we were on the phone or on the live. I don't always said phone. I thought we would do something funky and fun. So I love these polka dots. What do you guys think of those polka dots? And I love the gingram. So you guys can pick right now, polka dots or gingram. Please pick, I'm just trying to see if there's another one I wanna pick. I just, this collection you guys, so fabulous. So um, if you guys will comment and let me know, I need you to help pick one of those while we're sitting here being BFFers. So can you say polka dots or gingram? You guys choose. So not only do you get the 20% discount when you sign up for the great starter kit when you find underneath of me, but you get my classes for free. There you go. That's like the best thing ever. There you go. So we have Poppy Parade cardstock for our base. And we have black. Now I want to tell you something cool about the adding black to a project. Adding a dark color actually will make things seem brighter um, with your project. So there you go. Kind of cool. Um, if you guys are alive, go ahead and give me some thumbs up and tell me which of these you want. Do you want polka dot or gingram? If you will. Oopsie. I'll make sure. Okay. Hi, Duel. Polka dots, Deb says. Thank you, Deb. Thanks for the vote. I do like the polka dots a lot, you guys. So we give you guys a couple more seconds to comment. What would you prefer? These polka dots or the gingram? You choose. So if you can comment and let me know. I'm actually going to adhesive this down. I opened a brand new multi-purpose liquid adhesive. Don't you love that? That means it's new and shiny and awesome. So we're just going to take a little schmear here. Gingram. Okay, so Denise is giving me gingram. Marilyn's saying polka dots as well. It's a contest, y'all. Who's going to win? That's the question. There's really no losers here. I'm going to be honest with you. Gingram polka dots. What steps? Oh, so Jewel, we are using 
the, where'd I put it? <laughs> oh, it's right here. What's Cooking Bundle. This What's Cooking Bundle will be um, our one of our, our online classes this month. And you can take that in person or online. It'll be actually offered in person at our all day scrapping crop that we're having. The crop for kids, which is um, March 26th. So if you guys want to join us, we would love to. Gingram. Oh, did you change your eye? Oh, Deborah says Gingram. So I, I have two for Gingram, two for polka dots. I need somebody else to vote. <laughs> Break the tie. Jewel, what do you think? What do you think, my dear? I'd love to know what your guys' opinion of this is. Let me see. It's just so hard for me to pick. And I love, love, love it. Okay, I think we have another Gingram here. So it looks like Gingram wins. Gingram is winning. I love the polka dots, though. How do I pick? I don't know. The great thing is I own that whole collection of designer series paper, so I don't have to pick. You're welcome. We're going to put the what's cooking to the side here. I don't like the chaos. Oh, chaos. Drives me bonkers. Okay. So we're just going to go to, this is already, um, we're going to go right here. We're just going to get a little layer here, my sisters. So we have this cute gingram layer. And you know what? We're going to double it up. Mm, you're welcome. We're going to do both. You guys ready? I have an idea. Okay. You ready? <laughs> okay. I am sillyly excited today. So then I'm going to go to I just cut this wrong. Crackers and cheese. I know what I want to do. Okay, we're gonna do something fun, something different. We do have the gingram rocking in this time, you guys. I'm just saying. And we're gonna go to. Did I do that wrong. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I could totally mess up a measurement if you give me an opportunity. It's true. Ooh, 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 love you. Uh, there we go. Okay. The die cuts will show up better with the with the polka dot. You know, it's really funny, Jewel. That's true. It would be really, but we can work this. Okay, so we're going to make sure I did it right. Where did I put us at? In the quarter. I'm going to go four and then eight. Okay. So the fact that I'm going to incorporate both works because we're using pops of color with black and white. Easy, easy to do, my friends. Let's just go ahead and put this gingham across the front. I love that the inside and back of the beautiful black and white designer series paper will have um, a bold pop of color and pattern. This is a great collection of paper. It's a great way to get it with a qualified order or a qualified grouping of friends. You can do so really fun and easy. Now let's fold that polka dot. Let's give it a good rub a dub dub with our own folder. Okay. We are going to When's the last time that you guys decorated the inside of your card? If you're like me, you might have a great collection of designer series papers that you love. And this is a great way to use that paper up. So let me see here. What is this designer series paper called? Dina, you can get it. It's a hostess stamp set called Pattern Party. And you can get it with your discount because you're part of our family. So all you have to do is place a demonstrator order 
and uh, with a qualified purchase, you can get it at a discount. And it's 48 sheets of designer series paper in one. So look at the inside of this card, you guys. How cute is this? Now, this is the time I'm gonna tell you to play with your card. Go ahead, give it a really firm impression, like you see there. And then open and close this card. Open and close. There you go. Then put an insert to the inside. Um, okay, so I don't want to take away from the beautiful insert, but I do want to put something inside. I'm putting a small insert in um, because I want to really feature this polka dot paper. And I just can't get over how stinking cute this paper is. Bold color on one side, but Denise, so do I. So um, I did want to mention, you guys, if you don't know, we have a, a retreat coming up in Nashville, Indiana, um, May 20th through the 22nd. And there will be um, an exclusive time with me and some training and tons of crafting is all inclusive retreat. Spots are limited though. So if you are interested in joining that, make sure you let me know as well. Um, so here we have this little piece of white on the inside. Do you guys love this so much? When you open this card, it screams wow. It really does. And so we're going to decorate the front of this. I see a little schmear. Ah, it's gonna bug me. That shmia is going to bug me. Um, okay, so I want to add another pop of color to this. And this is where these are just strips off of a recent project that we did for our last retreat. And I am not going to use this king room because we already did. I'm going to grab one of these really fun accents and we're going to place it on the front of this card. So the cool thing is this is cute. It can go this way. You guys, can you choose portrait or landscape can you tell me which do you prefer portrait or landscape because we're going to incorporate this gorgeous designer series paper on the front of this um, with that pop of color and i i just love the pop of color what do you guys think portrait or landscape can you comment and let me know or you can just say p or l if that helps then while you guys are doing that, we're going to grab this What's Cooking stamp set in bundle. Love this set, you guys, so stinking much. Um, we have this really cool older home and it's really easy to get some antique items for the house, um, much easier than it would have been in California. And so we're having fun landscape, Susan says. Thank you. Ooh, Kathy says landscape as well. Landscape with Denise. The heart doesn't match the black gingham. Okay, Mary, you don't like it? Well, it's the pop of color, so you don't like the hearts. Okay. Do you want, ooh, I don't want black on black on black. Let's take a look. It does give us a little um, pop of color. You guys, the hearts don't match the black gingham. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. You are next my sweet Mary. It would not look bad. Believe me, I can make it look good. Deb Fitzgerald says landscape as well. Let me see here. I'm grabbing that packet of paper and I'm looking for something that's going to add an accent to it without taking away. And I want a smaller pattern or a bolder pattern. You know what? It's a very bold green or polka dot. Hmm. I don't necessarily like it, quite honestly. I'm, I'm a little simpleton in what I like or don't like. But I do like the polka dots with it. 
I am going to use it like a banner in the flowers. Oh, you like the flowers, Jess? You guys are so cute. Landscape and hearts, Deb. Okay, you know what? Everybody, Kathy says she likes the, the hearts as well. You know what, Mary? I'm going to win you over. I'm going to win you over like a banner so you can see this. Now, landscape one. And Deborah is so cute. Deborah, you're so, I love... Um, we do the hearts because I really want you guys to see how cute this is. It's just an accent. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna... you can do that pretty easily. And I'm going to win Mary over. Mary, if you don't, you have to let me know. I'll let you be honest with me. Tell me that you dislike something and that's okay. We can still be friends. <laughs> Ooh, that's too short. I'm going to tell you why. I want to go across the whole front of this card. And I'm actually going to exceed the red and black and the gingham. It's going to create a really fun layer that you guys see right there. I'm going to cut it right there. I could have been measurement specific, but I'm just going to go in and eyeball -y ball it. All right, Kathy. Deborah, we're cracking those, those uh, sweet little hearts out right here. Now we have our paper snips and I have two types of paper snips on my table at all time. Did I ever tell you guys about this? This is my ribbon shears. Do you remember your grandmother having sewing snips or fabric snips that you allowed to use? I never put them together to show you how you would get to We are all over this. So I like this bold pop of color. I also want it to be framed out. So let's measure how big this is. It's two inches. All right. I'm just cutting a little two and a quarter here. I don't have technical measurements for you guys for this. We're just having fun. We're gonna create little pops of, of wow, really is all we're doing. So I'm going to take this here. Do you know the secret to cutting the perfect banner? Is God has made us all we're all the same point. You're right. Did you go to Nashville, Indiana a year ago, Jess? A lot of fun up there. Really cute crafting up there, correct. It's an artist community. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna turn the paper and we're gonna pinch so that we get to the middle. Well, my retreat is there. It's an all-inclusive retreat, Jess, so you should come and join us. Now we are perfectly centered. How easy was that? Simple, fun, and that's a cute little arrow. Okay, this one here, we could do the same thing if you guys want, or if you just aren't, we can set the side. Put a ribbon on my shears that are only for ribbon shears. It reminds me of my grandmother. The only time I think she ever scolded me, really, was when I used, she like lost her mind, when I used her um, cloth shears for some paper cutting. And I was like, oh, grandma, you're angry. Because <laughs> she was never angry with me. I was her little, her little girl. Okay. So we see this here. I'm going to use this to trim the back of it. I want to make sure this is steadfast. Right there. So if you guys want to take these online classes with me, remember all of the purchases, and I can tell you how to do so, will um, go to support Riley's Children's Hospital. And um, we also have our retreat in May. So that is March 26th. And then the retreat is May 20th to the 22nd. Ooh, do you like this? Jess says yes. All right. I was just talking to this young lady I knew who I used to go to church with back in California. And we were talking about how we grew up in the same area. And her name was Jess. Love her. She's a doll. I don't like that this isn't perfectly situated at all. But we can always fuddle. Like, it's not horrible. And there's beauty in imperfection, believe it or not. 
I know. You're thinking, really, Jamie? <laughs> there is. So do you see here this banner? I'm going to place it on, and I'm going to end up trimming off what I don't want, or just trim it and then place it on. This creates additional layers by going off of the other two layers. It creates more depth and some really fun interest with this. Now, this bundle, this What's Cooking bundle, is usually in the 50s. How much is it? I put them out to the side. And it's 20% off right now, just through the month of March. As well as the mini cut and emboss that we will use today. Right here. I'm gonna make sure I give it a nice rub. It's one of my favorite aspects of our multi-purpose liquid adhesive is that we can move it a smidge while it's settling. That is really a handy thing to do, my friends. Okay, so I want this cute little bowl right here and I want this spoon. So what we're going to do is we're going to use crumb cake and puppy parade. A crumb cake, I'm trying not to lose some of my adhesives off the table, and Poppy Parade. Now it's a matter of figuring out where I put my crumb cake ink pad. Here it is. And actually, because I like the black, we're going to do the black instead. Oh, great. The online classes. Two are far away to attend, but I wish I could could. So I have all of my retreats and all of my classes are available online. So you can see more. Um, it'll all fully be uploaded. Catch the replay path. I can't wait to see what we do. Use on pain. <laughs> use on the pain of death, you mean? Yes, those scissors. Um, okay. So we're going to stamp this retro bowl, which I love. And you can see it on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. It will be fully uploaded on Friday. I have a doctor's appointment with the girls and I for physical therapy and it'll be uploaded then. Look at this awesome bowl. Girls, look how cool and retro this bowl is. I love it so much. Now we're going to go and just kind of tie into this. Now you can do a couple of things. You could have done green or the Bermuda Bay blue. Black. It's a little retro in its creation. Look at that. Super cute. And it's going to look great on this project. Ouch. Leave it to me to catch my thumb in the middle of that. Then we're just going to use our mini cut and boss machine. I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to set this to this side. Make sure I have it all lined up. Then we have our cute mini cut and emboss machine. A, cutest little cut emboss machine ever. B, it's lightweight and usable and fun. And it tells us exactly how to do it for dyes. So we're going to place this just like so. And these bundles are only available on sale while supplies last. So if it's something you're interested in, do not miss out with this sale this month. And if you'd like to get a better deal on it, let me know. It's when you join our Getting Crafty family. We have a global, I mean, a national team. And um, isn't this fun, Denise? I do really love it. Now, anytime you use a cut and boss machine, you're going to want to make sure the alignment is good. It's kind of like putting a hamburger in your mouth. You want to make sure, oops, and I put it on the wrong one. Uh, you want to make sure that everything is lined up. Now, this is my secret to using any cut and emboss machine. Don't drop your dies. But I use one plate on the bottom on the regular, right? Then I use one sheet on top that is not being die cutting. It's not being die, it's not die cutting. But this one is. It will let your sheets last long, sir. Yes. So that's gettingcrafty.net. Hold on right here. Right there. So you can see that, my sweet friend. There you go. I wanted to upload it all this week, but I, I was on the road so much driving that I literally didn't have um, an online access for most of this week. I could tell you now, that's going to kill me. When I don't have access to do my work, it makes me feel insane. 
but I had to do, her car was at the mechanic and other stuff happening this week. And oopsie, it's a good thing to catch before I went through is to make sure your dies are where you want them. You could use a sticky note to hold them if you're really wanting to. I think it's because I turned it that it went a little off kilter. And honestly, have you guys ever tried to do a live <laughs> while talking and die cutting? It's just too funny, right? All right. So stinking cute, my, fr my friends. Look at this. Now, I quickly put this back, and I usually put a, a magnet on it. But I'm just going to slip it onto here so I don't lose it until I get my magnet instated. So there you go. And we're going to take that spoon. And it shuffled what I was shuffling it through, so it's a little bit off, but it's not bad at all. I actually kind of like it. Now going to put this card together. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Um, we're going to grab one of the greetings and this cute little block. We're going to stamp that inside of this card. Usually I will have done um, this before. I will have stamped it before I put it inside of this card. So that always bothers me when I don't do it the way I originally would have liked to do it. So we have to have grace for ourselves. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, you're like, Jamie, that's silly. But no, I get so, I can get really like persnickety about that. Now, I want to do two words on here. I really like, since we're doing a banner, this cute what's cooking. And we're going to use that awesome poppy parade. Let's stay bold, sisters. Stay bold. Oh, that's coming out backwards. So it's getting crafty.net if you can read it backwards. It's because of the way the camera is, too. Sorry about that, my friends. Um, so we're going to use what's cooking on here. Super cute, my friends. You can't go wrong with this bundle. And we will be creating the most adorable um, kitchen sampler you can frame and hang in your kitchen with this very thing for that class. A little recipe book that you can give away. It's so fun. So fun. And we're going to stamp the inside. Now, this always makes me a little nervous if I'm going to screw up. And that's okay because I know how to fix a good mess up. Right, we're gonna stamp just here. Now, if I had messed up on the inside, the way to fix it would literally just to put a piece of paper over it. That's how I would have rolled. Um, but that's almost always why I will have um, stamped it before adhesiving it inside. So here we go. Now we have our paper trimmer and the what's cooking here. How cute is that? So stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I love this stamp set right here. So we're going to place it all together on the front of this card. I actually like, let's see, nope, we're going to do this. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and kind of pair up the corners. Oops, I have it backwards. I don't think I'm doing this right, am I? I did not. Ha! You guys, that's so silly of me. What's cooking? Then we're gonna pop some dimensionals on here. Dimensionals, one of my favorite adhesives. So we're gonna go right in the middle of what's cooking. Now, if you're thinking, I really like that she's breaking up those flowers, especially Mary. If you're saying, I don't like that look, it's okay. Because this is a great thing about crafting. It's totally personalized. We can do whatever fits each other. Like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I kind of like the on and off here. What's cooking, y'all? 
And then we're going to grab the bowl and put it on the front of this with our dimensional adhesive. And let's grab that little spoon and we're going to tilt it off. So what I'm going to do is place it just on the spoon base here. I'm gonna place a little dash of adhesive like right over the handle. I just want it to stick to the bowl. Don't go crazy. Light, 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 light adhesive. There we go. And we're gonna go over. Now by using the dimensional, it's the same height as the bowl, right? And you can use the mini dimensionals on the inside if that's what you want right there as well. Or if you're really like persnickety, you can go in and go kind of a little mini cut there on the edge, pop the handle down. How cute is this little thing? What's cooking? Sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. I really like the way it came together, Denise. You're right. What do you think, Mary? Are you still joining us? Can you tell me what you think? of how this came out, this bold pop of color, my friend. What do you think? Ladies, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I'm gonna put up so you can see it a little bit better while I clean up some of my crafting area. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a pretty simple person. I like a good color. I like a good pop of drama. Same time, I don't generally mix it's not your style, Mary. That's perfectly fine. Now, how would you, would you have done a black and white um, polka dot section? Would you have done the back side of that? Right? That would be a question I have for you, my friend. I'm looking for the paper that we chose with the hearts. Would you have chosen this piece, like the stripe? Mm, that would have been too bold for me. What do you guys think? It's a little bold. It's a little sassy, Mary. <laughs> but... I'm pretty sure if you received it, you would still like it. Um, you could have broken it up and just done another gingram instead as well. So you guys, it could have been gingram on gingram with the pop of the, the thing there, but I like the boldness of this project. And if you want to take it up a notch, um, you could add some, um, like for example, the black um, matte adhesive dots here. Super fun. Turned out cute, right? Bright and cheerful. Putting some juices in. But you know what the great thing is? Nobody has to like love my projects. Do you like it, Jess? Hannah says, BUM today. Hannibal. Hannibal, hello. Um, and we're just gonna use my take your pick tool to pick up um, little dots right here. This might be taking it too much for you guys. I'm not going to do a lot of them. I'm just going to frame out and add a little interest. Oh, it got caught on the goop. There. I like those little black matte dots so much. Yeah, I mean, the only time I ever saw my grandmother get frustrated with me is when I used her ribbon shears or her, um, the small dots would have been your style. You know what, Mary, I probably would have done that for a lot of other projects, but I wanted this retro, really fun bowl to pop and it would be balanced better with something bold. That's kind of where I was going with it, but I love it both ways. I love the inside, you guys, bold and sassy, Ina says. Gingram is a tablecloth in the hearts of the apron. Oh my gosh, yes. And Yuzel, their card is cute. The pop-up color looks good. Thank you. Um, the great thing is this paper has 48, 48 pieces of designer series paper that are 12 by 12. Seriously, girls, it cannot go wrong. Just can't. You can mix it and fit your own style. Denise says she loves it. I love it, love it. The long piece of paper on the inside. Do you love that as well? Debbie's so cute. She's like, it turned out cute. I think this is really fun. And one of my friends, Deb had, um, Debbie had a knee surgery, 
Where can you find out about my retreat? It will be officially, I realized it wasn't uploaded um, a couple days ago. So it'll be officially on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I'm hoping to have it all listed by Friday. I will be working on this tomorrow when I'm not homeschooled teaching. Now, the great thing about this, friends, is our retreat is um, Nashville, Indiana. It's at um, the Cornerstone Inn. There's limited suites. Those are on you. You can choose to stay there or go to get an Airbnb in town. Um, we have a couple of options. You can take the full retreat or you can add on to the retreat. We have that for you as well. That's May 22nd, 20th through the 22nd in Nashville, Indiana. And then this month we have our two online classes um, one of which is this what's cooking app right there you can see this bundle it's great and every purchase this month will give you oh so Denise just messaged me on Facebook yes Denise I'll be glad to make sure that you can get on my email list and I'll get you out to that so um, I love this little project. And let me just tell you, this makes it even better. Like that might be the creme de la creme of this card, really. So um, you guys can see more. If you're not on the email list, you can go ahead and go ahead and uh, message me at facebook.com forward slash gettingcrafty.net or email me, Jamie, J-A-M-I-E at gettingcrafty.net, gettingcrafty.net. Net. So um, I will have emails going out. It's first to come for a serve that are limited for the retreats as well as the fundraising scrapbook, Crop for Kids. So thanks you guys for joining us today. Praise the Lord. It has worked so well today. God is so good. And thank you guys for joining me. It makes it so wonderful. Um, I appreciate it. What is your favorite? Do you love the banner and this cold, bold front here? Like, like I um, or just love the inside polka dots. That's me. I love the inside polka dots. Just polka dots are my gig. So it's super fun. I hope you guys comment and let me know which is your favorite. And um, this all-inclusive retreat, we'd love to have you join us. So don't miss out. And there, oh, weird thing. Weird Al Yankovic is performing in Nashville, Indiana that same weekend, Saturday evening. So I was debating getting tickets, which are not included in the retreat and going for the show that evening. If anybody's interested to let me know, if you want to go to Weird Al Yankovic with me, hello, can we get a better show than Weird Al Yankovic? How weird would that be? Oh my goodness. So much fun. He just is a very unique guy. So um, thank you guys, Denise. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, everybody who's joined me. Um, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up and share this video. Like and share um, because sharing is caring. Thank you. See you then. Work tonight. And I will have all the measurements for these on my blog tomorrow afternoon so you can see it there. So thanks for joining me. Mwah! God bless. And you can see all of that at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I will talk.